Greetings! My name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved, and... Bit of a visual bug there with the uh, saturation bar, but you can usually, yeah, see, solve those by pressing F3 and T, or well, holding F3 and then pressing T, rather. Bit of advice for you there. Uh, so, last time, we got a shit ton of iron, we got fuse wood and blood wood, which we haven't actually gotten around to doing yet. We got... Uh, and... We got ourselves the ethereal uh, blooms and totems from the last millennium. Hmm. What are we going to do next? Well, first of all, I'm going to finally go over and mine that great wood. So I don't have to deal with it potentially getting consumed by the taint, which not only would make, mean I'd lose all that, you know, great wood, it would also mean that it would potentially turn into like a bunch of flux goo and ink swarm spawners and all that annoying crap. Okay. Oh. Link. Alright, that's that then. That's one less loose end. Why are there so many tainted sheep specifically over here? You know which? Hot in the seed. That could be useful in the future. Okay, now that we've dealt with that, I really need to make another fucking chest. Okay. Okay. Now, first we sleep, and then we head back to the taiga. Oh. Yeah, I can see, uh... What do I have that's... Oh, wow, apparently I've got... Jesus. Oh, right, cause I, the uh, xenobiologist. I forgot about that. Hello, I'm Dr. Bryson, the xenobiologist of this expedition. Could you perhaps collect some samples of the local fauna? Might help us understand what's going on in this world. Right, I've... Uh, all the various things that you can kill, of course, there. But before I deal with that... Eighty more. Fucking... Uh, Snickers bars. Oh, right. I forgot. Sometimes the uh, renaming stuff bugs out for those. Anyways. So now, gotta go to the next scouting quest. The Tundra. That's probably a biodome. Which means that that's where the Anyways, this is, that's not where we're ultimately headed, that's just a stepping stone. As I mentioned earlier, to this place. But we're going to go there anyways, because we might as well get all the sailing locations, you know, for the rip, both for the uh, outlook and... Or, you know, the teleporter, uh, teleportation network. I learned the value very well of a robust teleportation mm. network back in my time playing Morrowind. Seriously, what is with all the sheep today? I've seen one other, I think, yeah, I think it's like one other animal, tainted or otherwise. And that was that one single cow. Look! Sheep! 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 What is with all the sheep? I think this that sound. I heard the sound of a bow. I think must have, maybe one of the tainted hunters. This is one of the other biodomes. I forget which one. Right. Gamma. Um... Gamma stand for you are now on chain. You are now on. You'll bring peace to a world gone insane. Don't bring 
Beat up and make you whole. I'll give you power, you take control. Anyways. Uh, ow, ow, ow. Fucking Tenji sticks. It says the effective tool is an axe, but it doesn't actually speed up mining it. Or... See? I don't know what's up with that. I think they're just lying to me. Ooh. Untranslated alien grimoire. Those of you who... Know a little about the mods in this mod pack, or probably know what that is already. Oh, fuck. Fucking punji sticks. Alright. Oh, Ow, fuck. Oh, you can place them in midair. I didn't know that. Now, to the glacier. I'm gonna need a boat. There, we will find a very important artifact, albeit an incomplete one. We'll also potentially find our death. That's ridiculous. I'm way too pro to ever die at any point in time. Never question me. I would never be so foolish as to make a mistake. Because, because I am, of course, entirely flawless. And if you ever think you see me make a mistake, like overshooting the event <laughs> to the side, that's actually just a visual bug. No! Ah! Just can't win with these fucking votes, can I? Hi. Ow, fuck. Ha! Idiot. Using a fucking using a thing which ignites people right next to the water, idiot. Ha! And the water even slows down the projectiles. You are dumb. You are so dumb. And because it's in the water, you won't be getting healed by by the fucking paint. This is a terrible place for you to hang out. Come on. You got a huge disadvantage here. Oh, that looks so cool, by the way. The fireballs just hanging in there. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Great fucking minefield. Fortunately, there are three dimensions to this world. This isn't Terraria, motherfucker. I'm taking more damage from drowning than I am from you! And your pathetic projectiles. Ow. Ha! Ah, big mistake. Ah! Eat shit! Oh, that was like a straight up boss fight. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Normally, combat in Minecraft can be pretty. can be, pr can be pretty dull. But that was utterly nuts. Here we have a bunch of language samples. 
probably turn in at some point. And some untranslated alien grimoires. A different sort, but most importantly, we have a division sigil. Inactive at the moment, though. So I guess we're just going to have to go and activate it, shall we? So, what are we going to need to activate it? Well, first and foremost, we're going to need a enchantment table. Or is it an enchanting table? No, I think it's an enchantment table. Uh, I forget exactly the grammar there. And... Yeah, enchanting table. Enchanting table will need, yeah, two diamonds, one book, four obsidian. We have the four obsidian and the book. In fact, if we didn't have a book, we could have grabbed some from there. All right. What else? Right. Redstone. We can get redstone from Bloodwood. Yeah, like I was saying, this place is kind of ridiculous. Look at the uh, sky location. It's 49 meters, like, straight down. And what's down? Let's see, can get there with some passageway that's somewhere around here. But this that place is, like, it is infested with tainted mages. Not a fun place. You can snag some, uh, some stones of warding here, though. They prevent mobs from getting through, or something like that. I've never really used them. Alright. Now, as for the diamonds, I know exactly where to get them. At some point, I'm gonna have to organize all this crap, but... That day is not today. I'm hoping I can put it off long enough that I just set up a uh, apply to logistics storage network and not have to deal with it at all. Fortunately, the, where I'm going is also a good place to put the bloodwood. And that place is here. The Erie Island. Why are we going to the Erie Island? Well, it's because of a troll. A troll. A bit of a jape made by the people, uh, set up by the people that originally made this map. You know, the team and Thanos and the rest. One that will, in this case, work in our favor. Here we go, the Erie Island. After a boat trip that I'll probably cut out because traveling by boat may be the most efficient way to get around at the moment, but it's also very boring. You know, Z travel is always kind of boring in Minecraft, but it's fast, so that makes up for it. Ah. Here we go. Fuck. Come on, I know I can make it. Here we go. Alright. Now we scale the tower. The... The... City Noblest. At least we would if I... There we go. Carefully time. Jump. And here we are. In the wind. Uh, intruder the window. I go in here because there are some very nasty enemies down below that I don't want to have to deal with. This place has... Yeah. Loads of lore and resources and all that crap. Like this. The end. Why did I just get the discovery of another act thing? Whatever. Those fools. All of them. I was progressing civilization and they started a war. I was willing to do anything necessary to advance and they were blind. Unable to see the benefits of my work. Now they've ruined it. Not just my kingdom, but the entire planet succumbed to their bioweapon. That young, closed minded zealous failed to understand that my advancement were advancements were for the good of humanity, even if there were sacrifices. Instead, he has doomed us all. His cure is weak. Their weapon is too powerful. It has spread far beyond his control. I'm sure you will find a way to escape. Find a way to cheat the death that he has created for himself. 
Perhaps he will see the error of his ways and someday come back to fix his wrongdoings. I tried everything I could to work things out with the king of the mainland before it got to this point, but he refused to understand that these sacrifices were worth it. That, that, that those that were sacrificed were reaching their end anyway. I only saved them from further suffering, but used their blood to further improve the lives of many. Improve ye the lives of many, rather. There, there are times I wonder whether he is fit to rule as king. Unable to see the advantages that my work brings, blinded by the loss of lives that were already fall fading, looking at the remainder, uh, rem reminder of my people, they aren't suffering due to my work, they are prospering. Only few were sacrificed, but the lives of many were improved, even in the midst of a brutal war. I will make my return someday to finish what I started, but for now, I must save myself so I can pass my knowledge on to wh however comes here next. It will require sacrifice from all of us, but it is still for the advancement of humanity. You know of my ritual that will allow me to transcend this mortal form, so my knowledge will be safe, ready to be passed down once the planet has been saved. I have already familiarized you with the ritual's requirements, in case this eventuality were to become necessary. It is time! Commence the preparations! <laughs> yeah. So... This was ravaged by a mysterious bioweapon. And what was that bioweapon? Well, look outside. Alright. Ooh, free Thumbonomicon. Nice. Well, that's not really that big of a deal. Thumbonomicon is literally just a bookshelf tapped by a wand, so it's not a huge boon, but oh well. Yes. There we go. How that? We got up here. We still have to scale up the tower more. And look, an abandoned altar. The blood runes decayed. Yeah. And in case you couldn't tell, this is sort of where uh, you get to like start blood magic. Which is kind of. Which is a pretty good mod, even if it uh, has almost no actual in game documentation. Now. Ah. Shit. There he is. The Tainted Hematurge. Very, very, very fucking dangerous enemy. He hits us like a truck, and we hit him like we just got hit by a truck. I need blocks. Lots of blocks. I have a plan for dealing with him. It's a problem that he's... He wields a bound blade, which is a very power, uh, which is a very powerful weapon from blood magic. But on the plus side, it means he's restricted to melee, unlike the mage that I had to deal with earlier. Which me, which is something that can be exploited. Hence the blocks. Okay. Got a couple more. All right, let's do this. Let me just back up my save real quick. Fortunately, another advantage I have is that there's no. They can't heal himself because it's not. Painted gross around. Yeah, see. See what I meant about exploiting it? Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay.
Okay, she should be teleporting back any second now. I know. Fairly certain. Come on. Where are you, you bastard? Oh. There we go. Okay. Now we attack his feet. Alright. Now that he's near death. Back at my save again. There we go. What did he draw? Uh, blood room. Yeah. Jack shit. Alright. The, there's a chance, a small, uh, a moderate chance of him dropping the bound blade when he dies. This, uh, and, and it's a pretty big boon, obviously. And no, and the usual ways of exploiting the, uh, and the problem is that, like, because it counts as equipment, and not an uh, because he's dropping it as equipment and not as an actual I uh, not as an item in his drop pool which means that even if you auto use the uh, MFR auto spawner you won't actually you won't actually be able to like spawn him dropping it however If you, uh, there is still one way to exploit it, if you just back up your save, and then go back to that save, it's like, delete your current save if it fails, and... I call that RNG manipulation, <laughs> and because save scumming is a, <laughs> is an unpleasant word. Is it cheating? Maybe. Do I care? No. Where are you going? Get back here, you coward. Here we go. Yes. Uh, no, that's the dagger sacrifice. Oh, wow. He dropped both the dagger sacrifice and the bound blade. That's lucky. And the imperfect ritual stone, which I don't... Oh, it's nice to have. All right. Caution. May cause a bad day. And this is pretty cool because normally the bound blade takes uh, your like life points from your system, the whole thing, and blood magic to use. However, because it's not actually bound to you, but uh, rather the person that made this, this uh, mod pack, one of the people that made this mod pack, Kalanos, it only uses up his. On the downside, there's no real way to restore, uh, to gain, uh, to increase Kalanos's life points, as far as I know. Um, let's see. Oh, right. But, by the time it runs out, you'll probably have set up your own bound blade, so. Um, let's see. Here we go. Iron Arcane Key. That unlocks the door at the ah, the locked door at the bottom of the tower. It's not a big deal it being locked, considering you can literally just fucking bust through the wall because these are obsidian tiles and not actual obsidian, and this don't require really high. Whatever. All right. So. Now that I've got, dealt with all that, grab that. Ah, fuck. Now let's go back down. See, you may have noticed while I was going in there that there are beacons down here, and that seems like really good. Wow, beacons are, you know. Not exactly easy to come by, especially considering there is no end. So, no. however, it's a troll. They're not actually beacons. They're just uh, forged micro blocks made to look like it. beacons. However, this is not entirely a bad thing. I mean, beacons would be better. Would probably be better. However, what this does give you access to. 
is the block is the diamond pillars in the center. Uh shit. I might need blood wood first before I can mine those. Hang on. Alright. Now then, as so yeah, this is a good place to uh start making setting up uh quickly make a cheeky blood wood. I can get up. Damn you. There we go. So we can just sort of go up uh, up to here. Bridge out a bit. Now you may be wondering why I'm not just doing this all the way up there. Because that would be more convenient. But it, yes, it would be. Except for the irritating fact that for some reason, for some stupid reason, blood saplings cannot grow above... I think it was 128 blocks. Oh, you know, y, y level of 128, which is, which that is quite a bit above. It has something to do with that being like the level of the nether roof or something like that. It's very stupid. Here we go. A nice healthy blood wood. Yeah. These are grow. Fucking massive. Fortunately, vein miner is a thing. Not in the base mod pack, of course. I had to add it, unfortunately. But still. Ow, fuck. I also had to add. Let's see. Wow. Eight. I, I'm fa I'm fairly certain that's the exact amount of redstone that I needed. All right. There we go. All four diamond pillars. Turn into two diamond slabs. Turn into a block of diamond. Turn into nine diamond. Alright. I'll only need two of them at the moment. But of course you... Well, actually no, not two. Five. Yeah, enchantment table, not enchanting table. I don't need to make two of them, that would be ridiculous. Alright. Now, I need to grab 25 dirt, because this needs to be on a, uh, this needs to be done on a dirt platform, at least 25 blocks. And only a fool would do this anywhere near actual dirt, gr uh, actual ground. You'll see why. Too early. All right, we made it in time. We still get, we got a little bit of time. All right. There we go. And see, this is why a bad idea. Do it anywhere near natural earth because, yeah, cursed earth. It creates a bunch of this. Oh fuck. Unpleasant stuff. Spawns mobs rapidly if it's not disabled by light. And these mobs will also have some buffs as well. So like, they'll be faster and tougher and such. And it spreads to nearby earth slowly. Very handy with the uh, construction of mob farms though. But it does burn in the sunlight and return to regular earth. Unless you've got something over it, you know, covering it, protecting it from direct sunlight. Which is incidentally why this is a terrible thing to do near, uh, near tainted lands. Because fibrous growths block the sunlight. If that doesn't terrify you, you're not paying attention. Unfortunately, this will require a silk touch shovel to pick up, so we're just going to cover it for now. Why am I using bloodwood logs when I can use bloodwood planks? There we go. Should be protected. Maybe put one here as well, just in case. Alright. Point thing is, the uh, cursor is there. And I now have an, an activated division sigil. The thing the division sigil can create is unstable ingots. 
which are created by using iron ingots and diamond. And unstable ingots, as you can probably get from the name, are very unstable. By which I mean, you uh, 10 seconds after creating them, they will explode. They will also explode if you try to leave the crafting thing. Also, it only works with the vanilla crafting table. Not like the Tinker's Construct stuff. Or the Natura stuff, I think. So that's fun. But, with the aid of that, plus... That... A couple of the obsidian that I've got, and these diamonds, I can create something truly blended. The healing axe. Okay. Back at my save again. <laughs> Been doing a lot of that this episode. But it's just good prudence. Okay. All right. Iron. Above, I think it was. Yeah. You can also make these, uh... Ah, oh, fuck. Semi-stable nuggets, which will create a stable unstable ingot. But you need, like, nine times the diamonds. So, yeah, those are for suckers. <laughs> All right, got all the materials, yeah. Oh crap. Ooh! I have it now, the healing act. The healing act has a couple of, ab uh, a couple of abilities, most of which are completely useless. When, uh, when you attack with it, it'll take some of your health and heal whatever you attack with it. Unless it's a undead, in which case it'll damage it. Almost always going to be equally useless. The real reason I got it is for this. Watch it. Watch my HUD. Oh. While I'm holding it, it'll automatically, at a pretty, rap at a pretty rapid pace... Restore my hunger bar all the way to full. For free. And this, this is the ultimate weapon against the diminishing returns nonsense. This, uh, it is the finest defense against hunger this side of the fruit of Grisaya. It is glorious. And we're probably not going to be using the Division Sigil again for, uh, anytime soon. <laughs> Maybe ever. This was like the entire reason I, I, I went for it so quickly. This single thing. Now, uh, uh, other thing, like, you know, it's not the only way to get around it. There are actually a few other ways that you can potentially that you can potentially get even sooner if you don't rush this. For instance, mushroom soup. Mushroom soup has an interesting quirk when com uh, com uh, with some uh, mind factory reloading mechanics. If you put a because you can put bowls of mushroom soup into a t uh, a tank. Like a portable tank from the thermal foundation or some such, and with the with the straw from Mind Factory Reloaded, you can drink it whether uh, uh, straight from the tank or bucketing it out and placing it on the ground as a source block. Either way, you can you can drink it with that, which will instantly restore all of your food, even give you a full saturation bar and everything, guaranteed. If you have, you know, if you, you can farm mushrooms using bone meal, or if you have a mushroom, you can just straight up get infinite mushroom soup. Otherwise, you can make, uh, you can make cake, any of these kinds of cakes, well not the pancakes, but 
yeah, like the like the cheesecake or what have you, or dominant cake or just regular cake even, although that doesn't stack. Um, like the cheesecake, and place it on the ground and you know eat it, and it'll always give you the chunks of your hunger regardless of diminishing returns. There's also a ring from Domcraft that can get around it, sort of. And, and of course, the aforementioned fruit of Grisaia from beating the, Ga uh, the powered up Gaia Guardian fight and winning a 1 in 6 chance. Each, uh. But yeah, the healing axe is my personal favorite. Why? I don't know, it just is. Ugh. How long have I been recording? Now then, this seems like a good place to stop. It's a rather shorter video, but honestly, my videos tend to be rather over long. So, th so this is perfectly acceptable. I mean, you need like the YouTubers try to you have to like stretch things out to meet the ten-minute mark. I'm not one of them. <laughs> uh. But yeah, I've done. <laughs> so yeah, like, the whole time I've been just. Go, uh, this whole video has been dedicated to one thing and one, one thing alone. Completely negating uh, the diminishing returns malarkey. Because god I hate it. <sighs> and yeah. At some point when I get the uh I have to buy a uh, shovel with the silky jewel, which will require some emeralds, which I know where to get, and some, and a bit of gold. I don't. I'll go back and get that cursed earth. In fact, now that I think about it, there's there's a couple other ways I could do that without needing the silk touch stuff, like uh. Weight lens from Batania, perhaps. But I'll deal with that when I deal with it. Until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Stay alive out there for me, will ya, suckers?